Hello guys, this is Victor from the forexboat.com and welcome to our video example on a live forex trading account. We remind you that the trade you will see here today is for educational purpose only and should not be traded as a financial advice. So let's get started. Here on the chart we have Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar currency pair. And we have a very interesting trade setup which uh, we are going to initiate. So basically what we are looking for in this trading strategy is a clean bounce of the 200 moving average you, which you can see on the chart. So this is a confirmation of the bounce. Now the next thing to consider would be the parabolic SAR indicator which uh, showing the trend, the, the change in trend whether short term or long term. Our second confirmation would be appearance of the change in trend and this is actually our entry point. So our strategy is showing the entry for the buy trade on the Australian New Zealand. So let's let's get on to it and open the trade. I'm going to use 0 0.1 lot. Okay, the trade has been initiated and now we should get on to the other rules for this trade. For this I will be using different time frames. This is actually what we expect from the Australian versus New Zealand dollar to happen. And what you can see is that pair is producing one wave up to another wave and now there should be a, sh a third final wave to the upside. So basically they are all the same distance, they are all same length and we can expect the same to happen. So the first wave was 26 pips, second wave was 28 pips and the current wave we would expect to be the same about 26 pips. So average uh, take profit would be around 1.0470, 1.0480. So this is our profit target for the trade. But there are more rules for this entry setup. What we need to know for sure is that there is a trend. And how we can determine that? Well, there are multiple ways to, to think of a trend and whether it's, um, it's a valid trend or it's a trend reversal and so on. But for this particular strategy, the rules are very simple and easy to understand for anyone actually. So what we're using is uh, various time frames. Uh, to be more specific, we're using four or five different time frames to confirm the trend validity. Uh, usually it's uh, it's 4 hour, 1 hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes and 5 minute chart. If you want, you can use different uh, different different confirmation time frames. For example, if you trade in high time frame, you can start with monthly, then go weekly, daily and so on. It depends on how you want to trade it. And we're starting with 4 hours. Let's have a look at 4 hour chart. This is our 4 hour chart. And what we're looking for is the price to be above the 200 exponential moving average and this is what we have actually here the price is above and the next would be one hour chart and we're looking exactly for the same the price is above 200 moving average on the one hour chart as well now the next step would be to look at 30 minutes same the price is above 50 minutes price is above the moving average and five minutes the price is above the moving average so all these showing us a good strong indication that the trend the current uptrend is valid as long as it stays above all moving averages if for example price will drop below five minutes moving average in our case because what we do is we use one minute for entry and five minutes would invalidate the trade the trade basically it would kick the stop loss and we would get out of the market if this would occur so for our trade setup uh, we have entry here because price has touched and didn't break below so we have one minute clean touch what is very important is to watch for the clean bounce look for the clean bounce it's not like price spiked down and uh, went uh, you know somewhere else like uh, I can show you different different examples like if you look prior to that you can see that here we had a clean bounce but we would not enter because in multiple time frames the trend would, would have been up and that's why this 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 would never be a sell trade. So here we have a not a clean. It's it's a dirty dirty bounce. So no no way we're gonna take it. So we're looking kind of these trade setups, these bounces, and we're looking to go with the trend because this is safest way to trade. 
go with the train uh, and you know just bank your profits no need to go against and catch the, the falling knife it's sharp and you can hurt yourself so this this is uh, this is uh, basically the trade setup now we need to put stop loss and take profit according to our calculations uh, the take profit would be around 0 0.0470 0 0.0480 this is our um, our main target Let, let's uh, start with the target and then we, we calculate our stop loss based on our target the target is calculated on the average move of each wave which we already saw it was 25 27 28 pips so average is 25 pips and this is what we're looking for a 25 pip move on this trade if we look at the current price where we entered the trade it was actually at 0.0446 this was our entry is triggered slightly higher basically it was 0.0447 and to that we need to add 26 pips on average so if we add 26 pips to that price this would make the, our target at 1.0472 i'm going to place a take profit at 72 now let's calculate our stop loss the risk reward ratio should not actually be more than one to one this is the maximum uh, basically you're risking the same amount of pips as you looking to profit it can never be more ideally the risk reward ratio should be one to two so if you are risking 10 pips your take profit should be 20 pips so twice as more your risk should be twice less than the potential profit in this case you can recover your loss so it's it's all about the money management uh, but this is a little bit different topic we will look uh, now at uh, our particular strategy the critical stop loss as we were spoken about is a break below the five minutes moving average so the one time frame higher that we used for our entry point so that would be the 1.0436 i will place this stop loss here for the time being and what we see is that our risk is lower than the potential profit so this is what we're looking for actually uh, and it's always should be like that as for now our uh, our stop loss located here we would change the stop loss once the price breaks above the resistance you can see here is a double top on five minute chart and once the trade breaks and close above it we can make uh, move our stop loss to the lowest point generated throughout uh, this time from from now up until the breakout so for now the lowest point is at 0.0446 roughly and that would be our stop loss when the price closes above and this way we will actually reduce our risk substantially this is how we should, should should do it we should never you know let let the the trade go in into a big loss for now let's wait and see how it goes i will update you very soon on what's happening with that trade okay we're back on our chart and what you can see is that five minutes candle closed above and at this stage we can actually change our stop loss move it higher below the recently established low at 1.0445 i will go like three pips lower i will place it at 42 uh, you you can adjust it higher or lower and it it's not necessary it's not a must to do that but i prefer always to reduce the risk this is this is how you can adjust your strategy basically reduce the risk as much as you can and as often as you can uh, this is what we do we have reduced the risk you, you can see now that we have a perfect uh, risk profile risk to reward ratio is just awesome and this is what we need from our trades now what I want to jump on is uh, basically a trade setup for for this uh, trading strategy and how you can make it actually very easy to monitor this scenario so here we go we just placed all these time frames in different windows this is very simple to follow now you can see whether uh, the price remains above all uh, or above the 200 moving average on all time frames or not so this is what we need uh, this is what makes it easy to to follow uh, the strategy and uh, the way to actually save it is uh, you can go to file profile and save as you can call it australian and new zealand dollar strategy 
that's it. So you can actually change the profile as you wish. It makes it very easy to follow this strategy. Now, as our trade goes, we'll basically monitor. There's a little more to go. But for now, we have reduced the risk substantially. Uh, very good risk profile. Let's wait and see how it goes in the near future. Okay, guys, so it finally seems that we are approaching the moment of truth and we're almost uh, getting to our uh, take profit target. One pip left to go and I would like to recap actually on our trade and what had happened throughout these four hours. And we actually entered the trade at 1.0449 with a stop loss at 1.0442 and take profit 1.0472. Overall take profit is 23 pips but overall yes the the tick profit has just reached which is was awesome trade and why it is so awesome is because the risk reward ratio was almost 3.3 our risk was three times less than our potential profit this is this is awesome and this is this is how how trading should go uh, it was stress free because since the point we entered uh, we had no drawdown, literally no drawdown since we entered the price continued to go up and we have just reached the take profit. Thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe to our videos, check out our other videos and of course have a profitable trading. Till next time.